Let's walk through deploying a Remix app using Cleaver. This is Remix.run. If you're not familiar with Remix, it's a pretty cool new framework. And of course, like a lot of frameworks, they try to make it a lot about the UX, the user experience, the user interface. And what they like to highlight is the speed of everything. And if you scroll through their site, their site's pretty cool actually. I would recommend taking a look at it, scrolling down. It does have a pretty cool user experience. I, I really like their site. There's one thing I, I did find a little disappointing, and if you guys figure this out, let me know, comment below. They have the Konami code right here, but I tried it many times and I didn't notice anything, but I'm thinking maybe it did do something. If you guys figure it out, comment below. I'm really curious. And of course, to deploy a Remix app, we first need to have an example app to deploy. So I found one on GitHub. I forked one from the GitHub user Delete Man. They have a Remix blog example that's pretty nifty and pretty easy to do. I think the only thing I did was just run this on my local to make sure it worked. And I think it updated the package log file. I'm not quite sure. And then from here, we'll go into Cleaver and deploy this sucker out. In Cleaver, I already have a server provision that I'm going to use for this example. And when on the server, I'm going to click on Add a New Site. And then for App Type, we'll scroll down and click on Node.js SSR. And I'm just going to use a temporary domain for this example. And then go ahead and expand out Advanced Options. And change the entry point from index.js to npm. And for Arguments, type in Start. The build command we could leave the same and for artifact path this is going to output to a build directory so we'll type that in there and then for node.js version i already have node.js 14 installed on my server i tried this before originally on a server that had node.js 12 and i ran across a couple of issues so i recommend using either version 14 or 16 of node.js and then once you have all that set up the way that you need it go ahead and click on add and that will add this new Node.js SSR site to our server. And there we go, we can see that it's done. So I'm gonna click on Setup and Deploy, and then configure the web app that was created after I created the site on the server. The first thing that we need to do is tie this to the code repository. So of course I'm gonna use GitHub because that's where I have it. And for a repository that was Remix blog example. So I have it under my GitHub account, armguitar forward slash remix dash blog dot example and you can use the same repository Cleaver is able to capture public repositories of github all you need to do is just have a github account added for a profile within Cleaver and then you could go ahead and just copy and paste this on guitar remix blog example into the repository and then it should work because it's a public repo but we'll need to change the branch to deploy from master to main and then update this to save the settings. And from here, we're actually already good to go to deploy out the app. If you have an application and you need to configure some environment variables, there is a couple steps that you'll need to take in order for that to work. The environment section within Cleaver, it always looks for a .env file and Remix does not natively in production or even in development look for a .env file. So you'd have to install the module .env that's D-O-T-E-N-V. Install that into your project, and then you'll need to update your script file. And you could go and look at the Remix documentation for that. They have an example on their site. So you might want to do that if you need to add environment variables. Of course, there's other ways to retrieve the variables as well, but that's just the native one that we have built out with Cleaver. But like I said, for this particular example, we're actually good to go to deploy. So let's go to the deployment section and click on deploy. One thing I noticed with this Remix demo is it installs and deploys pretty quickly. So we saw the install npm package go pretty quick. Build assets was really quick actually. And it's already working on activate new deployment. And as I was saying that it completed. And oh, look, it's already out. So let's see here with the PMT logs. Everything's looking fine. And it's a good sign with the ping results that we're getting back. We're getting 200 status codes. I expect the site to render when I go there. Let's go ahead and visit the site. And awesome, we have our example remix application here. And it's a pretty cool little demo actually. If you click on admin section, you could create a new post. And I just have to add a title and then a slug. And then you could add stuff in markdown. Let's see. 
about like, uh, hey everyone. Do that as a header, and then maybe just type in this was fun, and then create the post. Then we see that title right there. And there's our little example blog remix application. All right, and that's how you could quickly and easily deploy out your remix app using Favorite.